Every narcissist has the emotional intelligence of a child, usually stuck somewhere between the ages of two and three. Depending on each individual's own unique pathology, this number can reach as high as ages eight or nine, but those cases are rare. The reason for this is during childhood, narcissists create an alternate persona, sometimes initially in the form of an imaginary friend, but this persona embodies all the characteristics that the child believes they themselves lack. And gradually, to shield themselves from negative feedback and to cope with the shameful feelings of having an insecure attachment to their maternal figure, the narcissist begins utilizing this new persona to interact with the world around them. Eventually, all interactions become delegated to this new persona. The child's authentic self gets relegated to their subconscious where it remains stagnant and unable to grow because it becomes completely encased by this narcissistic mechanism often referred to as the false self. This is why narcissists have no core personality or sense of self and instead emulate the people they admire, because their true psyche has been completely replaced by the defenses of the false self. An ephemeral operating system meant solely for surviving childhood has now gone completely rogue and usurped the conscious mind. But this faux psyche requires constant external reinforcement and validation to convince itself that it is real. The narcissist's sole purpose in life becomes obtaining steady narcissistic supply. This never-ending, all-consuming process leaves very little mental bandwidth for authentic maturity, because short- and medium-term memory are utilized exclusively for the analysis and subsequent replication and emulation of the emotions, reactions, and expressions that the false self believes will help best maintain their current supply and potentially corral new sources. This process, along with the rest of the narcissist's mind, is completely on autopilot. No self-awareness means no personal growth. And despite the cool, calm, and collected demeanor they portray to acquaintances and authority figures, on the inside, the narcissist is pulled in a thousand directions by the ruthless and sadistic internalized voice of their superego. The narcissist is a multitasking mess simultaneously juggling impression management by reinforcing shared fantastical narratives, suppressing cognitive dissonance and feelings of rage by constantly obtaining narcissistic supply, all while attempting to suppress their chronic envy through buttressing grandiosity at the expense of others. These combined with the narcissist anxiety and extreme hypervigilance against any perceived external threats and insults require all of the narcissist's mental faculties and reduces them to the mentality of a toddler. What we perceive as a narcissist's maturity and personal growth in reality tends to be a combination of impression management and adjustments to their manipulation tactics. Cognition and physical age are irrelevant. Without therapy, they will always be that scared, angry, abandoned child, obsessed with destroying lives and life, and playing grown up the best they can in a hostile world.